What's up guys, Big Papa Drock back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, wherever you are. Uh, today we are coming at you with a hot and fresh Soul Stone Summoning Session. I think this is probably the largest Soul Stone Summoning Session that I have done in Raid. They had some sick deals on some Soul Stones and I said, you know what, why not? Let's see if we can get something great. Uh, I've got a lot of pretty... Awaken champions, as you can tell right now already. Um, so really realistically, like there's a couple that we're going for. We're hoping to get um, I'd love to get like a four or five star Georgid would be awesome. If you take a look here, this is what's on my wish list right now. We've got 260 mortal soul stones and 39 immortal soul stones. And I might buy one. I normally never buy the soul stones from the actual shop. I just, you know, convert this currency into actually being able to choose which champion I want um, whenever they pop up available, but just to make it easy to make another temple. So in terms of the wish list, we're hoping to get a Rhonda. Uh, I don't have her awakened at all. Um, my Uko is only, I think, level two or level three. So anything higher than that would be an awesome. And then my Harima is only level one. So if we can get a, a large Harima soul, that'd be great. Um, for epics, you know, any of these would be great. I, ha I have them all awakened, but just high level souls is what we're looking for here. So 260 mortal soul stones. I don't know what to expect. We'll see if we get anything good. We'll see if anything nice pops out. Typically, the rate on those is pretty bad. It's really the immortal soul stones that we're kind of looking for to get those higher level champions. So before we get started, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are looking for. What do you most want to find if you're awakening something? Obviously, I think we can all agree they need to really increase the rewards in terms of actually being able to farm the dungeon, the, the twins. Um, but... You know, like I said, I'm a dirty spender and they put out some really good value packs. So I had to just go ahead and whale out. So without further ado, let's get started with our first temp pop and see what we get. Hopefully we'll get some lightning up oh, right off the bat. Hey, and Eric's nothing really spectacular, nothing exciting. I think the best thing about, you know, the mortal soul stones is your ability to obviously sell them. Realist. God, wow. More lightning. Okay, a Gamaron. I actually have a Gamaron as well. And I don't think he's awakened. Cool. All right, not bad. Hey, two, two Legos awakenings off of, you know, your first 10 pulls. Not oh, and a third one. Hey, a Basatha. It's only a one star, but why not? He's not awakened either. Okay, this is a good start. This is a great start to a video. Seeing, seeing some gold flash. Nothing that I can really use. Nothing that's, that's uh, helpful. My God, another one. Hey, another Acrisia. I don't have the champion, and that's now my third Acrisia soul, and I still do not have a single Acrisia to use it on. If I ever actually manage to pull an Acrisia, I am set. That's actually my highest level Acrisia soul yet. That's the one thing about this system that really drives me nuts. Why am I able to pull souls for champions that I don't even have, right? I'm a big spender. It's pretty clear when you look at my account. But if I were a free to play or a low spender, I would just like, how do you ever get souls that you want? I, I feel like you don't. Again, let me know what your experience has been in the comments. I'm curious if you guys end up with decent souls. I'm not even, pay this is funny, I'm not even paying attention to the epic souls because they don't really do much for me. Um, we've already hit our soul cap here. So let's take a look at what we can awaken, what we need to sell. Uh, again, all of these rares are pretty much useless for me. You notice I didn't have anything in my wish list. Again, that's another thing too. The wish list bonus is essentially nothing. It's only what I think it's a two x chance, which is pretty nuts. I've got three Acrisia souls. <laughs> that's that's so ridiculous. Oh my god, I'm selling a five star. I can't remember this champion's name. Not Choni, something like that. But I need this. This is what we need: the currency. Because honestly, guys, being able to choose. The soul, being able to actually buy the 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 soul essence, the eternal soul essence, in my opinion, much, much more valuable than trying to buy these. This in particular, the eternal soul stone is a massive scam. Don't buy them. 20% chance is ridiculous. We still have 220 mortal soul stones left. This is, I'm going to have to do some like fast pops on this, I think. Let's do a fast pop here. Hey, another Lego. A Samson. I have a Samson. I can't remember if he's awakened or not. Let's find out. We'll do another fast pull. Okay, there we go. No Legos there. It was bound to end at some point. 
I feel like my luck has been overall pretty decent lately on Awakenings and on Shard Pulls. I did pull a six-star Rotos Soul the other day, uh, which now gives me a plus four six-star Rotos, probably one of the strongest in the world to the point where I'm going to do a video on it um, in the coming, I think, coming days just to show it off in Arena. So that was pretty awesome. He was on my wish list. I was shocked. Ooh, five-star Hotatsu. Hotatsu is actually not a bad champion. Um, again, for me, I would sell that soul. I don't think... I've already got a four-star. I don't think it makes sense for me to, to keep that. It's more valuable from the perspective of just using it to acquire the souls I really want. Uh, would really love to get a Mighty Uko, a Georgid. Um, you know... Again, like I'm, I'm pretty whaled out on most souls at this point, but there are a couple that would be helpful uh, advancing my champions. You'll see a five-star Baron soul here. The reason why I haven't used this is because I already have a six-star Awakened Baron, uh, and I only have one Baron, so there's no use for it there. Same with a three-star Georgia. I already have my Georgia to three-star, and my Richka is five-star. So I've got a lot of crazy souls, but I don't have the champions to use them, uh, or they're already, they're already sold up. I guess they're fully slowed up. Still 180 mortal soul stones left. This is the craziest summoning session I've done for soul stones by far. The fact that Plarium was offering this many soul stones. Um, and again, they were definitely less than they normally cost. So if you were ever going to spend on the game, this would probably be the time to do it. I'm not telling you to do that. Obviously, do whatever you're comfortable with or whatever you can decide is a good use for your money. I enjoy doing this. It's fun for me. So. There you go. That's why I do things like this. And it's also kind of interesting content to see what that kind of whale kraken player uh, is able to achieve. Another Lego here. A another Eric's. What are the chances of that? Not on the wish list. So this is this is a part of why I feel like mortal soul stones really aren't a great overall value because you're first off not very likely to pull what you actually want or need. And on top of that, you'll notice Pretty much everything here has been very low level with the exception of rares or epics. Getting a high level, you know, five or six star or even four star uh, Lego soul off of a mortal soul stone is exceptionally, exceptionally difficult to do. I've had it happen, I think, maybe once or twice. Um, so it's just not great value in terms of getting those high level souls. And the reality is, ugh, Harrier. And the reality is that, uh, you know, that level four soul awakening is huge. That's where you see your biggest benefits typically over, um, you know, over uh, that level three. And that's also what's so expensive in the shop because they're charging 300 some odd souls. We can awaken our Samson here. I haven't fully ascended him, but now he's awake. And yeah, none of these other ones, I don't want to awaken the Assyria. Uh, okay, back to the soul stone summoning. So we have 127 of these, which is huge. Still 140 more to go. Quick fast pull. Let's see what we get. What do we get? Oh, it's a Pixneal. Oh, baby. The excitement. I mean, she's definitely better than she was, but definitely not going to help me. It's only the top tier champs that we're hoping for here. Top tier, meta, and specifically four star and up souls is what we're looking to see. Fingers crossed on Legos, on Legos specifically, not epics, not rares. Rares don't really help them a lot. I already have my cold hearts maxed out for the most part. Um, I don't really use many other rares. Light Sworn's good if you are doing Sand Devils Necropolis. Um, but for me, it's all about the gold. Gold, gold, gold. Hey, a four star rear guard sergeant. That's not bad. Rear guard, pretty, pretty solid still. Haven't used her in a while, but you know, has some utilities. Uh, okay, we didn't pull any Legos in those. So now we're down to our last 100. Again, just going to keep feeding them. Hilarious that Plarium charges you to have a larger soul collection. Is there nothing that they won't stoop to? <laughs> They're literally charging you to make your soul storage larger. Uh, because you're probably pulling souls for characters you don't even have or champions you don't even have. Funny how that works. It all comes up Polarium. Never forget that. All right, last hundred. Let's go. Quick, quick pulls. We want to get into the Immortal Soul Stones. And Inquisitor Shamail, I have a full one. That's actually not a bad soul for an epic. He's pretty useful both in Arena now as well as uh, Hydra. He's great. I'm hitting my mic over here. 
Let's try uh, another one here, another fast pull. Okay, we got a Lego. Oh, it's a Grohawk. Ugh. The luck is not with me on the Mortals. Nothing really good on the Mortals yet. A lot of epics, a lot of rares, very few Legos overall, and no Legos that are actually useful to my account. Hopefully that will change with the Mortals. If I'm going to have bad luck for my account, I would prefer to have it here. And I would prefer to have great luck on the Immortal Soul Stones when I can get some of those higher souls. I'm only selling the Seer because my Seer is already 5 star. Again, that would be a soul that you'd want to keep 9 times out of 10 regardless of your account level. I have a 6 star... Uh, that is that Angar? Yeah, I have a 6 star Anger, so that doesn't help me at all. Let's sell those. Back in we go. 60 left. Let's finish this up quick. What we get? Mother Sabelle, not going to do much for me. Another Lego. Hey, Cantra, I'm pretty sure mine's already got an Awakening. Magnar, not a bad epic. Oh my god! What the hell was that? Four and one? Oh my god! Wow! Okay, that's nuts. I mean, they're all relatively low level except for the Astrolith, but that's still pretty crazy, right? Four and one? What are the odds now? What is it, 6% to pull one of these? Somebody give me the odds in the comments. Good God. I mean, my Pythion's already fully awakened. My Ruel's at four. My Krela's at three, I think. I think my Ashwolf's at three. So again, I can't use any of these, but still, four and one is pretty bonkers. Visix, all right. Let's just double check to make sure. So Visix we can use. Awesome. We'll take that. Uh, oh, Vrask. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll level up our old buddy Vrask. The healing beast for faction wars. Uh, okay, Grohawk actually isn't uh, leveled up. I got to remember that. Okay. Wow, four and one. That was nuts. Dude, if that had been on an immortal soul stones, I would have freaked out. Like four on the immortals. All of them uh, would have been probably super high level. But still, that was crazy. That's good luck. All right, I take it back. We're having good luck now. We're having good luck on the overall rate. We got 20 left. We'll do slow rolls for this. See if we can get anything decent. One or two more. One or two more Legos. What do we got? There we go. Oh, Mithrala. Mithrala, great champion. You don't see her as much in Arena as you did uh, last year. I feel like she's not as... as I mean, she's still very good, but you don't see her quite as, quite as much. Now, honestly, you just see Taurus and Marichka, uh, which I do not have a Taurus. Another Lego on the last pull. With here, that's good. I still use with here quite a bit. Oh, another one. What do we get? A Liddy. Oh, another one. A three pull. And it's a Lysandra. Not bad, guys. Let's go. Those were some pretty, you know what? For mortal soul stones, that's about as good as you can expect. Those were all solid. Uh, it looks like I've already awakened all of those champions. But honestly, that's still really awesome in terms of rate. You can't be upset at that. That is great. Uh, Lysandra, I have a fully awakened four star. I should do a world strongest Lysandra at some point so we can sell that comfortably. Same with Cantra. Uh, same with Lydia. Same with Krila. Also Astrolith. God, if I could just pull out a crazy, that'd be great. Same with Pixneal, but we'll, we'll just leave it there for now. All right. Now the moment we've all waited for 257 of these uh, opportunities to collect 200 coins. This is where mortal soul stones really pay dividends, frankly. If you're spending, it's not even on what you pull. If you have a late game, super, super end game whale kraken account, uh, it's this that you're looking for when you're pulling mortals. Because now I can go right into the soul merchant or the mystic market, I mean. And again, I've got 8,000 of these now. Normally, I wouldn't buy one of these. But in order to make another temple, we'll buy one. And so now we should have 40 to temple. But really what you want to do with this is go right into Immortal Soul Essence. Bam. Done. Eternal Soul Essence. Bam. Done. And the reason for that is this Soul Merchant is by far one of the best parts of this system. I'm not the biggest fan of this system overall. It's obviously designed to encourage people like me to spend more money. And as you can see, it's succeeding. Um, but realistically, this is the best, best place to put your coins. Pick the champions that actually will help you. Excuse me, burping there. All right, back to Soul Stone Stumble. We got 40 more. Let's hit it. This is where we got to hope to get lucky. These are the big ones right here. We need to see gold. We do not want to see anything other than gold. Please, come on. Got to think of 12% chance. There's one. What is it? 
God, that is bad luck. For me, that is unbelievably bad luck. I already have a fully awakened Engar. That is brutal. And only one. One's about what you'd expect to see per pull of this. So if we get more than one on any of these, then we're doing great. If we get less than one, then we're not doing so hot. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple of multiple pulls. This one's not looking so good, though. Brutal. Brutal. No Legos at all on a 10 pull of Immortal Soul Stones. That hurts. That hurts pretty bad. This is where we really wanted to have the luck. I would take all of the low-level Legos we got before and then give them back if we could have Legos on this. And we are coming up dry. Oh my god, we're getting crushed. Again, good to have epics, but that's not what you want to see for this. That's 30 Immortal Soul Stones with a grand total of one Lego, which I already have. That hurts. That is absolutely brutal. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick watching that. Uh, the pain. The pain is real, folks. Can we, can, we get, can we get one good Lego for the next go around? Can we just get one? One solid Lego that actually helps. And again, no matter what, you can use these to buy. I'm going to keep that. Uh, well, I can't remember the freaking champion's name right now. It's escaping me. Uh, I think I have a four star already. We'll do this. <laughs> Why can't I remember this champion's name? I use her literally all the time in my Hydra. Oh my god, that's when you know that it's when you know that the sadness of what just happened has affected your brain. Uh, all right, last ten. Come on, come on. Okay, we let off with a Lego. I don't have a blind seer. I fed her to my Mithrala. God, the pain is real on this. This is the worst immortal summoning session I've ever had by far. Wow. Oh. Oh, my God. 40 immortal soul stones, and we walked away with a freaking five-star Angar, which does nothing for me, and a four-star Blind Seer for a champion that I don't have. Another cautionary tale video. I mean, we got, again, we got tons of materials to use to actually go into the shop which is always a good thing but holy smokes was that absolutely brutal or was that absolutely brutal again it's an end game account your mileage may vary you may be looking for something completely different but for an end game account that was an absolute kick in the junk well guys i hope you enjoyed this uh raid shadow legends video uh more stuff to come Hope you have a wonderful day and that your summoning sessions, if you do any, have better luck than mine. Have a wonderful time. Catch you later. Big Papa Drock out.